In today's episode of Tech Tips, we're going to show you how you can take a list of items in a spreadsheet and automatically populate a drop-down question in a Google form. Along with that, we're also going to show you how you can eliminate the form choices as people uh, select and submit responses. Let's get started. My name is Tom Kalinowski. I'm the Director of Technology and Operations at Colonial Intermediate Unit 20. This is Tech Tip number 86. So in order to get started in building our form, the first thing we want to do is define what our choices are. So we go ahead and we uh, create a brand new spreadsheet. I have one uh, created already here. And you can see I uh, titled it Original Choices and Remaining Choices. There's nothing fancy in this spreadsheet, no formulas or anything like that. I just have some values here. Right now I have uh, numbers. I, I could easily type in like, I don't know, red, green, blue, what, not green, blue. Well, I guess green, blue could be a color, but red, green, blue. And we can just get rid of all those others to make it simple. All right, so we have our original choices, and now we want to put those choices into the form. So, of course, we could go into the form and just type in red, green, blue, but if you imagine this list was much longer, um, it would be much more useful to import those choices, but we're just going to keep it simple here. So we're going to go ahead and create a brand new form. Okay, and we're going to create a uh, new question. We're going to hit that plus sign here, and we're going to say drop down. And let's just call this color. All right, and then rather than just typing the questions here, let me move me over here. Rather than just typing that, uh, we could go ahead and we could click on the add on here, okay, and we could click on form ranger, and then click start. And we want to populate this question from a range, so we're going to go ahead and click on that. We're going to go click on this plus sign for a new range. Okay, and we're going to select the spreadsheet that contains the form choices. So for us, it's Tech Tip 86, and we're going to go ahead and click on Select. We're going to select the sheet that contains our form choices. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and uh, it is on Choices because that's the only uh, one that has data in there. And the column header, we can do Original Choices or Remaining Choices. Right now, we're just going to do Original Choices. Okay, and we're going to go ahead and click on Next. And we're going to give it a name. That way, we can use it. Uh, from Form Ranger in the form someplace else if we wanted to. Um, we're just going to go ahead and call it the same thing, Original Choices. We're going to click Save and Populate, and we'll see that's going to auto automatically populate the question from the options within the spreadsheet. So that's step one. Okay, now if we, let's go ahead and close this. Okay, let's preview our form. So here we see the form, it says color, we can choose red, and we could click Submit. Okay, and it works just like any other form. The problem is that we don't want red to be available anymore. So if someone else goes to submit another form, we can see that red is still an option, which is not the desired behavior. So I'm going to show you how you can fix that. So let's go back to our form. Okay. Um, first thing we need to do here is tie the form to the spreadsheet that we created. So let's go ahead and click on Responses okay, and click on Create Spreadsheet. Instead of clicking Create a New Spreadsheet, though, we do want to link it to an existing spreadsheet. So let's go ahead and click on Select Existing Spreadsheet and click Select. And now we want to pick the spreadsheet that contained the form choices that we were working in earlier. In this case, it's Tech Tip 86. And we're going to go ahead and click on Select. Okay. So that brings up our uh, spreadsheet. Okay. And we can see choices is what we were working on before, red, green, blue. And form responses uh, contains uh, the submissions from the form. So we can see that this form that was submitted at this time uh, was submitted with the color red. Okay. Let's go back to choices now. And this is uh, where we use our uh, magic formula. Okay. So I'm going to uh, copy this and I'm going to paste this in here and I'll uh, explain to you what it's doing. Okay. All right. So this is saying I want you to filter uh, A2 to A. So take this list, take a look at it, and I want you to filter this if it does not match. Uh, and now we're going to compare the, the two things that we're looking at. So we're going to look at, again, A2 to A, and then we want to compare that to uh, the form responses sheet B2 uh, to the end of B. Okay, so 
this looks good here. So we're filtering A2 to A, and we're comparing A2 to A to uh, form responses. You can see in my paste, though, uh, it just says form responses, not form responses to. So uh, we'll just show you here. So we'll delete that. And what we want to compare it to is we could click on form responses, OK? And then uh, click on that. And we see it says form responses to B2 to B11. We don't want to tie ourselves down to 11. We'll, we'll take the whole column. So we'll just get rid of the number reference, OK? And we'll click on Enter. Okay, and that's it. So now you can see that it says remain in choices, uh, green and blue. And that's because someone already specified red there. If we, uh, just for testing purposes, if we manually change their response to blue and go back to choices, we can see that red and green are the remaining choices. So now that we have this column of remaining choices uh, working, what we're going to do is we're going to go back to our form, okay, go back to our questions. And previously, we linked this, right, we linked that to original choices. This time around, we're going to link it to remaining choices. By doing so, each time someone submits a new response, this remaining choices column is automatically going to adjust to just show those choices that are remaining. Uh, therefore, then uh, updating the question in the form and not allowing people to uh, select the same option. So let's go ahead and do that. So we're back at the question here, okay? And let's uh, click on the add-ons again and click on Form Ranger, click on Start, okay? So we have uh, Populate uh, from Range, uh, Original Choices. So let's, uh, let's do a, uh, a plus sign here. Okay. Same thing, tech, tech tip 86, because that's where the remaining choices are. Okay, where, and now we need to tell it where the remaining choices are. So uh, it's in the choices sheet. Okay, and the column header is not original choices, but it's remaining choices. And we're going to click next. And it's asking for a range name. Again, we'll call it the same thing. Click on Save and Populate. Okay. Now, before we close this window out, uh, very important here, we uh, select these two buttons at the bottom. See where it says Auto Repopulate Questions? So we want to do that every time a form submission uh, is submitted. So let's go ahead and do that. And it's also probably a good idea to automatically update it every hour as well. And what that'll do is if we need to add an option or remove an option from the spreadsheet, this will make sure that the form is automatically updated as well. Okay, so let's uh, go ahead and click on the close button to that. And now if we preview the form, okay, we can see that it says the colors are red and green. Okay, so let's choose, I don't know, green in this case. Okay, we'll go ahead and click on Submit. It says your response has been recorded. Now let's go ahead and click on another response. And we have that color. And uh, the only option left is red, uh, which is perfect. So we go ahead and uh, click on that. We'll click Submit. That's it. Uh, so there are no other options uh, to be submitted at this point. So if someone else goes to uh, click, uh, you'll see that it uh, still does say red. Uh, so I just uh, realized I was recording this. So what, what the problem is there is when the, um, when the add-in tries to update the question without any choices, it says, well, you must have at least one choice. So that's why that, uh, that red is still there. So an easy way to fix that is let's go back to our sheet here, see where it says original choices. So we have all of our options there. Let's add one more, and let's just say, um, I don't know, no choices remain. Okay. So that looks good. <clears throat> and we can see that it automatically updated the remaining choices here. Right. So um, we want to immediately update our form. Okay. So let's go back, uh, back to our form here. Okay, click on that add-ons. Now this would get updated automatically in the hour, okay, because we selected that option, but we want to update it a little bit quicker. 
So we're going to go back into the add-on here and we're going to say update question list. Okay, and now we're going to close this. So now uh, when someone uh, were to go uh, submit a response, they would see that no more choices remain. So that is how you uh, can use FormRanger uh, and some Google Sheets formulas to create a form that automatically pulls the form choices from a spreadsheet as well as eliminates those choices as people submit forms. I'll put links to my sample documents in the show notes below. If you have any questions, uh, don't hesitate to ask them in the comments below. Make sure to click the subscribe button as well as the bell at the bottom of this video. That way you'll be notified as soon as I post new content. Have a great day.